Hey guys, JDSB here. This is going to be a quick update video on how to fix the black floor within games, specifically on the PC, that you can use Reshade on. Um, it's an update to my previous video I made about a year ago. This time we're going to be using a much easier shader, uh, less guesswork, well, basically no guesswork, um, all numbers based. Uh, so let's get into it. You're going to need to install Reshade, obviously, and you're going to need to install the Lilium shaders for Reshade so you get access to the shaders, obviously. Um, first things first, you're going to enable the HDR analysis shader, which is this one. By default, it looks like this. A lot of the screen is taken up with stuff that you don't really need for this specific video. So we're going to turn off the brightness from cursor, color space used, the color space from cursor, the color space diagram. We're going to set this on to the right hand side just for this video purposes. Um, and that's that for now. Uh, the second shader you're going to need to enable is the HDR black floor fix. Um, the, difference in which one is on top of each other it makes a difference because if the black floor is underneath the analysis nothing will change you can enable this side of to wherever you want you'll see the image will change but the shader won't so make sure that they're in the correct um, uh, layer order so enable the black floor flicks enable the actual black floor lowering button itself there is an sdr button here which is going to leave that for a different video turn that on You've got a bunch of processing modes. I prefer RGB and PQ, I think, uh, but go, go have a look at which one you prefer. They have different um, options in how they keep saturation dimly lit items. We're going to leave it by default for now. All you do is you take this top slider, the old black point, and slide it until when that faint white line disappears. Take this, drag it down, uh, it disappears about now. We're at 0 0.081. Um, you may notice that parts the white the black the little faint line is popping up again so maybe drop it again a tiny bit more we'll go 0 .0, 0 0.09 and we're done if you would like to have the image a bit more contrasty without lowering the black floor even more the second op um, option which is a roll off point um, is the option you tweak for that what this basically does is that this shader is only affecting nits between 10 and 0 so if you want to increase that between 10 and 20, 30, 40, 50, you can just press control, click onto it, type in a number. For Cyberpunk, because this game, specifically in the DLC, is quite um, washed out, I up the value to a really quite high number. I wouldn't recommend going 40 for every game, but you can adjust this one to however you like. 10 is the default, 20 is the max it goes by default. Um, if you want to split the difference, put on 15, maybe go to 30, it's up to you. So for this game, we're going to stick it to 40, and you're done. Um, in some titles, I think Baldur's Gate 3 was an example, um, setting this number basically as high as you'd want doesn't actually make the shader, the, the image, go to zero. In that case, for example, I'm going to emulate Baldur's Gate 3 here. If it's always like this, no matter how far you slide the slider, just get the last one and drag it down just a tiny bit. You shouldn't really be playing with this one too much. Mainly stick to the old black point instead of the new. But that's it there's no guesswork done um, it's all just numbers based I wouldn't put too much effort or time on the max COL average COL and min COL numbers these are based on the lowest on one individual pixel and so if you've got a game where you can't hide the UI the UI generally has something that's 100% black and so even if you're looking at a game where it's obviously gray if there's a UI element it's got something that's black into it the, the shader will show min COL at zero so use the histogram, that white line that's faded away, make it so it's dragged just on the bottom. If you can see it flickering like this, that's ideal, and you're good to go. All right, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it's been helpful. Cheers.